Well, I was trying to limit myself to posting two videos at a time, but I've had this on my mind for a long time. It's not a bag. It has to do with bagpiping. And what I kind of like to do, this is just me, is when I set up multiple pieces of music together, um, some might call it music, but uh, I want to tell a story. And uh, there's this set that I want to play, and everybody says, don't compete with it, you'll never win in it. Well, I would rather compete for the evaluation. And uh, I can't, I've mentioned this on Facebook m multiple times. I'm sure everybody's tired of hearing it. So anyway, um, I was inspired by a tune called The Cowell Gathering. And there's a guy on YouTube. His name's Dan Lydon. And I love the way he starts out with this tune, The Cowell Gathering. Um... When he the way he plays it, it sounds like you can imagine an army or an approach. So you're approaching a battle or a battlefront, and it's still in the calm. And I I want to try to present the cowl gathering as the first part of the story. Now. Me, I, it, this is a really hard tune for me to play because it's actually out of my skill level with uh, playing the bagpipes. But I'm going to still keep trying and trying and trying to play this tune. It, it, for me, it's difficult. It's got a lot of grips and a lot of phrasing to, to get right. But... Uh, I watch that video, the other video on YouTube a lot for the inspiration. It's just, I think it's the perfect um, approach tune. And I I have the music right here. Now, the, the second tune that I want in the set is I want the battle. So I'm saying a battle is happening. And... Um, what I'm trying to express is is uh, it's a Strass Bay, and it's called the Piper's Bonnet, and I want that to be the bot battle because the way the Piper's Bonnet is phrased, you could interpret some stuff as sword hits or weapon hits or or gunfire or something like that. So that's the battle when 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 everything merges together in the battle. And then, you know, there's not a whole lot I, more I can say to that. And it's the Piper's Bonnet, Strass Bay. Now, here's the kicker. Everybody says, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But honestly, if I did an MSR, um, I want to let the judge know ahead of time that I can't find anything that, that, that fits differently. And I can't... It, it's hard for me to express the feeling that I'm trying to convey in the MSR. I'm not a competitive piper right now, but with this COVID thing, I've got lots of time to, to practice and improve my skills somewhat. Now, the piper's ba bonnet <clears throat> jig is the perfect closing to this, uh, this MSJ thing. I can't think of anything else I want to play with these other tunes. I might try to compete with it just for the evaluation. That's all I want is the evaluation. Um, I think there isn't. I don't think there's any other way that I could do it. So what I'm going to try to do is play these tunes on my practice chanter. Um, some of the phrasing is going to be bad, some of the fingering is going to be bad, and there's going to be a lot of breathing spots. Um, in the Piper's Bonnet, there's one part where the GDEs are really, really hard for me, and I've been practicing and practicing and practicing those, and I still can't get 
for any other Piper, they would probably be easy. But this set of GDEs, for me, I get my, my fingers go into autopilot and I screw it up. So I'm, I'm begging your forgiveness on that part. But I, hopefully I can, by playing these three tunes together, uh, maybe you can get the feel I'm trying to express. And it's going to be kind of a long video. And I thank you for your patience. But uh, it's something that, oh, oh my gosh, I got to, I need to play it. Even if everybody says it's terrible and horrible and everything like that, I don't care. Um, because I'm going to get, uh, this is a, a set that I will keep playing and playing and playing. It's hard for me to memorize with all the stuff that's going on with me right now. And, but now I have time to focus on this. So anyway, <clears throat> here's my story told through a Scottish practice chanter. And try to get the gist of what I'm trying to express. It's just a story. It's not something I feel. It's just a story. So anyway, uh, let's see what happens. Now there's going to be a lot of crush grips and stuff like that. <laughs> start. There's gonna be lots of screw-ups. So that's the approach. 
when you settle in for the Strauss bath. <clears throat> up. screwed up. Okay, so that's the battle. Can you hear the can you hear the sword strokes and the drama in it? <clears throat> then the melee uh, some people don't understand what a melee is. Melee is when the order of battle goes crazy and everybody's just thrashing about and the Piper's bonnet jig expresses this I think perfectly. Now there's a couple of parts that I have really have a hard time with in this, and I am playing for my music, but I have to get this out. So anyway, okay, the Piper's Bonnet Jig. <laughs> the first three notes are the end of the Strass Bay. This is the hard part. There it is. So I'm going to post this and I'd really, really, if there's anybody, I hardly have any followers, but if there's anybody who's understands what I'm trying to express, uh, feedback, not on my playing, but I hope I was able to express the feeling that I'm trying to put off and that the last burl just drops and shuts it off because the Piper's Bonnet Jig is kind of a, 
hypnotizing when you get into it. And I'm still working on those GDEs. And I'm, I'm trying to memorize this. And right now, memorizing stuff is kind of difficult. But uh, um, I just had to get that out. Because everybody kind of puts it back. But they, when I tell them what I want to do, they kind of blow it off and say, well, you, don't, you can't compete. You'll never win. It's not about winning. It's about expressing the music. And expressing the, the feeling and the story that you're trying to tell. And sometimes uh, the best storytellers, which I'm not really one of them, aren't the most pretty people. And they don't do everything perfect. And sometimes the best music isn't perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm saying I'm s striving for that level of playing. Cowell Gathering's a hard tune for me. Uh... Uh, the Piper's Bonnet, Strauss Bay. I like that tune. It's a, it's an easier tune for me, seriously, when I'm not trying to play it too fast. And then the jig, <clears throat> sorry guys, but freight training, that tune's meant to be for played fast. So, um, so be forgiving of my limited skills on the, on the practice chanter. And really, really, comment what you think on this story in the combination of the tunes so I, I i don't mean to sound like i'm begging but i just this is something i have a passion about and i've had i don't know too much time to brag about to put into this tune or this <clears throat> msj msr jig thanks for watching and you know, YouTube's about expressing what you want to do or what you want to achieve. And that's something that I want to play, even if it's just for an exhibition. So, thanks for watching. Again, I'm thanking you guys too much. If you like, want to see more stuff like that, because that's the way I think. I like try to tell stories. Um, I have my stories already built in my head, so suggesting something to me just... Uh, flicks the rebel out and then I don't want to do it but that's just me um, anyway thanks for watching and I really do appreciate all you guys that comment on the videos and uh, if you feel like it subscribe I hope to improve um, yeah so thanks for watching <laughs>